Hey again, everyone. Thank you for joining me. I am better than you. I am better than you in every way. Is what you should be thinking every time that a narcopath opens their stupid mouth to you. Whether they are putting you down or giving you the silent treatment even, which is not opening their mouth, but they're giving you cues, they're giving you messages. I am better than you in every way. That's what you need to be thinking every time that a narcopath is trying to manipulate you in any way. Gaslighting you, manipulating, running you down. All the ways in their bag of tricks that they use to try to get you to get back in line, to get on the narcopath's plantation. I am better than you. This is why you take so much shit from the narcopath, is because, in essence, you are better than them. We are better than those people. We behave better. We are at a higher level than them. They know this, and at some level, we know it. But the crossroads happens, the problem happens when the narcopath is in a position of power with you. Mostly family dynamics, mostly, uh, mostly it's parents or spouses because they can. And only a narcopath would abuse that station in life. We don't do it. We're better than that. We know that. But they can propagandize you long enough to where you start to believe their nonsense. And eventually, you can lose yourself by being around a narcopath for too long. If you're hanging out in these channels, though, if you are involved in the discussion, chances are you can get out of it. And my, uh, the one thing that I tell everyone, uh, and I've said it many times, is that if it's your last 10 minutes on Earth and you figure it out, and you make an effort to get away, it's completely, completely worth it to finally resolve it and go no contact. If you can go no contact, I am better than you. That's what you need to think when they're talking down to you, when they're sliming you. You know how they do, and they have this way with words. It's just natural to them. It's hardwired, the way that they behave. I think on the last video, I mentioned that by the time that I had got, and I wasn't the one that actually left, I was thrown away like trash by, uh, by a narcopath, which was the best thing that ever happened in my life. I didn't realize it at the time. That by the time that they were finished, I was just convinced that I had no value whatsoever. And because I deferred to them for... Uh, when you're sounding, when you're deferring to somebody else about reality, none of us really know. This is a common mistake, not just in narcopath circles or any, or or even in cluster B personality or issues. We don't always know. We don't always know what's true or not, or what's biased. So we sound off to people that are around us. But the narcopath will use that information against you. If you're unsure of something, they'll make sure that, that you go in the direction that they want you to go, that serves them. When you finally start to step off of the narcopath's plantation, if you will, that's when they turn up the heat. That's when they get really, really ugly with you. That's what happened to me is I started to figure it out years before. I didn't understand what was going on, but I'd made commitments. I'd made commitments to this person that I... Uh, that I took vows to, and I held those very seriously. Uh, and then I also have some people that we brought into the world, and I consider that probably the most important job that anyone has. So I stuck around for a long time. As I began to awaken to these issues, the way that this person was treating me, looked around, and I kept looking around at the at my family of uh, the, my family of origin, this 
family that I was married into. And I began to see that they were all behaving the same, that there was no really way out. Because I would talk to one about one, this person's doing this, and they would tell you, that's okay, They're, you know, this is just the way it's supposed to be. You let them do this, and you should probably be just doing more for them. And I, it didn't make sense after a while, so I started to do my own research. And as I began to wake up from the, just the mind fuck that they give you, they they didn't like it none of them did you can you can you can feel the air getting more tense you can feel their displeasure with you you know just by deductive reasoning that they're stabbing you in the back to the neighbors and to other people and to friends and family because of the way people come up and talk to you later or if they even talk to you at all they're doing this because they know that inherently you are better than them. This is how they keep the one up on you. They can't play fair. They have no desire to play fair. They only have a desire to control. And if you finally start to realize that you have, you're probably more talented. You may have been more places, speak more languages. Maybe you're better looking than them. It can happen, you know, whatever. Whatever it is, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter how petty it is. If, it's, if they think that you're better than them, they will do everything in their power to convince you that that's not true. And if you're married to one or if you're being parented by one, you're going to start to believe it. And I'm here to tell you that if they're giving you a, if they're giving you any issues about anything, if you stop and look at the truth, you're going to figure out pretty quickly that they're probably not telling you the truth that they are they are threatened in some way by you. This is why they have to keep it under control. That if you were to walk off the plantation and wake up, they would be it would it would ruin their entire narrative and everything that they've told everyone about you. I mentioned before one time I ran up on a guy that that had worked with some people that the narcopath's father had worked with. And I remember the guy looked at me and goes, hey, you're not such a bad guy. And I'm like, why would you say that? Who, who said that I was a bad guy or whatever it was that was the message that he'd been given of course, I wasn't there to hear it, and I don't know exactly what it was, but apparently he was told something, and um, it didn't match up with reality, did it? I am better than you. I'm better than you in every way. This is what, this is what drives you crazy. This is what drives the narcopath nuts, is because they know it. Folks, look, it's very important to me when you all come back and talk with me on this channel, because it, I, I mentioned that it keeps me sane and it's labor of kindness from me to you. I want to see the world heal from this shit. I'm so tired of it. Inherently, you have something that they don't. They, they simply are going to run it down until you're, you're left with nothing. And some people never wake up after this. Okay? Some people never do. Some people stay in these relationships forever. They don't understand what's happened. You and I are lucky, fortunate, that we have had enough insight to begin to unravel the, the, uh, this prison that they put you in. If I had anything to tell you about what it's like to be around a narcopath and then to be away from a narcopath, I would tell you that it's like night and day. And that once you begin to understand what you've been through, the world changes. I can't even explain to you how different it is. You don't have to suffer through these people any longer. I know that some of us cannot go no contact. That's a big one. Otherwise, we wouldn't be having these conversations. You would just go no contact. Again, how much do I hate that message in the, in the 
messages down below. I, I just loathe that when I hear it. If they could go no contact, they would go no contact. Right? Right. So, anyway. Or even if you've gone no contact and you're still dealing with the aftermath, the disaster that they leave you with. You're better than them in every way. I want to see everyone heal from this nasty epidemic that has it seems to be just across at least across the nation maybe in the world I don't know damn it there's something I was going to say and I can't remember what it was now well I'll just have to leave it at that then if you're taking nonsense if you're taking shit from the narcissist it's because you're a threat to them Think about that for a little while. You probably don't even know your own talents or power if you've been around one for a while. It's time that you do. I want to thank you all for stopping by again. Um, again, I'm trying to make these on Saturday. I'm trying to, to, to put out some content because it irritates me when I follow someone and they don't put it out for a while I, they I think that maybe they've disappeared or whatnot so I still have not disappeared but uh, usually I put them out on the weekends if I if I have something to say I don't want to come and just give you some you know just something to hear myself talk I need to have something to say or else just you I guess we'll just have to wait till next time so all right listen I want to thank you all again uh, and um, I hope to see you all again real soon be well. Thank you.